Aloha and welcome to Wisdom Dialogues with Hope Johnson coming to you from Fairyland on the Big Island of Hawaii. Yay, so happy to be with you. Ooh, we've been having some wild thunderstorms around here. That's super fun. I guess it I, I guess it got a little bit intense to the point where the zoo shut down for a little bit. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it'll come back soon. We'll see. <laughs> um, what? Didn't bother the chicken. Didn't bother that rooster. He's good. He didn't get hit by lightning or anything. <laughs> that guy loves it. Oh my goodness. He's so fun. <laughs> so what did they have a problem with? What's that? What did they have a problem with? Something you and I talked about? Who? Oh, no, no. Okay. So, so recently, I don't know. If, I don't know if you saw it or liked it or whatever, but I have a post on Facebook. It says the perceived need to cultivate reliable relationships is based on the false premise that love itself is unreliable. Did you see that one? Yeah. And I didn't get it either. You didn't get it. Awesome. I love that. I <laughs> The word. The that's, word. Why that's why we're on wisdom dialogue isn't that for fun the wording I, there's something inside that says oh my god this makes no sense i'm not even going to entertain that okay so it's not even it, it's not even entertainable for you right you don't have a question no i just don't get it i okay. it, it, it seemed um totally nonsensical yes and, and it, yeah, notice it's so interesting, the mixed responses, because some people are like, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, I feel that. And then some people are like, oh, my God, how can you say that? You well, know? What the hell are you talking about is what I said. And, and, and some people are, what are you even talking about? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So let's see what some of the questions are. Um, perceived need to cultivate reliable relationships. Okay, let's start with the perceived need to to cultivate reliable relationships. Can you hear me with that clucking? Oh my God, they are <laughs> relentless right now. You know now. what happened? They laid an egg. Hold on a sec. Well, let me close the window. They laid an egg. They just became an egg. They laid an egg. They did. They laid an egg, and when they lay an egg, they all celebrate, like all their friends and everything. True. Yeah. Yeah. They all have a big party. That's, that's, that's how we know what they laid an egg. And we hear that, um, you know, we'll listen to like where it's coming from. So we know where to go look for the egg. Oh, cause you don't have a, you don't have a coop that they're in. Uh, oh no, no, they're not. They're free range. Oh, so you gotta find the egg. And if you don't find it, <laughs> Yeah, if you don't find it, it's it's gone, and and like either the dog will get it or a mongoose oh, or something. Yeah, some but, animal. Yeah, but but um, it sounds like they're right here under my window, so I'm pretty sure they're laying right under the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, well, here it is: the perceived need to cultivate reliable relationships. Okay, so when when we're relating, when we're relating. You know, there the ego throws out these purposes for relating. Okay, like I'm relating the, with this person to to make this relationship reliable, or I'm relating with this person so that I can rely on them later because I need people to rely on. It has see? an agenda. It's an agenda, exactly. See. Uh, see, we don't have to cultivate anything like that. It's like love cultivates itself. It doesn't matter who is receiving because it's all the same. See, that's putting like a, a special um, a, a special identity onto people, places, things, whatever you think you're relating with, you know, special mm -hmm. identity onto them as if they're an object. And, you know, Right. As if, you know, the perception is like they're objects. You're the subject, right? In the perception and everything else is objects. Mm -hmm. But that's not really true. We're not relating with, we're not relating really with a separate person. Mm -hmm. We're only relating with ourselves. And if we take it as if, and here's, you know, something that I've heard too is, is, um, well, 
I'll, I'll say, why do you, why do you do that? Cause someone will, will be talking about how they keep helping this person out, but they're not, they're not even um, appreciative or whatever. Well, why do you keep on doing that? And mm -hmm. they'll say it's because I might need something in the future. Mm -hmm. See? And I love that the honesty, the way it comes out like that, when someone actually answers me like that, you know, it's, it's funny. It's like, it seems like it's a lot of it is here in Pune. People will just speak their consciousness. <laughs> like, thank you, you know. But for the most part, what that person said, I'm doing that for a future reward is basically, to sum it up, that's the way, that's the way the ego relates. And that's when, you know, and if we, if we, buy into that that that's true i'm doing this for this mm -hmm. i'm doing this because of this i'm you basically is saying i'm mm -hmm. using you definitely yeah and and it's like and and here's an here's an interesting here's an interesting one too someone came on and just made a pro, made a comment and said every relationship is based on the desire to maintain gratification <laughs> As soon as gratification is gone from a relationship, we chuck it, cease to relate with that object. Now, what, is it, what does it mean by gratification? Well, basically getting satisfaction. You could say getting some satisfaction, sense of satisfaction. Hmm. It's a desire. He's saying it's a desire to maintain this sense of satisfaction. And as soon as they're not getting a sense of satisfaction from them, you're like, like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, that is, an, that is an egoic interpretation. That's just an egoic interpretation. No one tosses anything. No, true. No one tosses anything. Mm -hmm. That's just a mental interpretation saying, oh, yeah, that wasn't gratifying anymore. So that's why I got rid of it. Right. Or I chose to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. I chose to end the relationship. It's an it's it's an illusion that anyone can end a relationship. Right. It's not how it works at all. Yeah. It's not how it works. Mm -hmm. So so basically, and you know, and and also it was it was inspired by this post was inspired by a friend who asked me. He said, "Do you have anyone you can rely on?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? Is there anyone besides your family?" Like, because I, you know, I'm tight with my family, my husband and stuff that you can rely on. And I'm like, I just really don't understand what you mean. Like three times I was like, I just Me? really don't understand what you're asking. And, and then, and then, and then I was like, okay. And so I start searching my consciousness and kind of like, well, I bet I can rely on them. I bet I can rely on them. I go, but you know what? You don't need it. No one's, no one's I don't need it. Number one. No one's reliable. I mean, the most reliable guy that has, has shown to be reliable, apparently, is Tony. But a mm. couple of weeks ago, that guy was on his belly. <laughs> on his belly? On his, did I, didn't I tell you that? Haven't you been on Wisdom Dialogues with me, how he, he, he collapsed in the yoga room? No. What? What? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> so we're having. I, I, I. Maybe I didn't. How funny! It might have been on. It might have been in person. In person, so, I bet. So, yeah, that's possible. Probably what happened. So, um, so we're we're having some yoga in the morning, and mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden he falls to the floor, and I just kind of look at him and I'm like, "Are you okay? <laughs> What's going on?" He's like, "I can't move," <gasps> and I'm like, "Oh." Okay, well, I'll turn the yoga tape off then for one. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, he couldn't move because something um, like in the back, it just, you, it, I guess whatever it is, you can't move or else it's painful. I don't know. I never had the experience. But, um, but so he couldn't move. He couldn't get onto all fours even. Oh, so. my God. You do, <laughs> but he well, but he has strong arms, so he could arm himself around. <laughs> he was a forearm oh, himself. Seriously, yeah, yeah. And so, and and so, you know, I was like, but I'll tell you the rest of the story. But back to, you know, I was kind of like searching my consciousness, and then I go, oh wait a minute, 
you know, the most reliable guy is Tony. And like, he just became unreliable just like in one second. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, Oh, I, there's just, there's just not anyone to, that, that I need to rely on. I don't need to, I don't need to consider. And, you know, my friend told me that it would, that, that I should be cultivating reliable re relationships for, um, um, basically so that there will be people to rely on. Whoa, oh my gosh. So, so, you know, uh, it's, it's okay, Lori. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a common and you know, whenever we're talking, we're talking to ourselves anyway, mm. you know, even if it's, even if it's toward another person. So whatever, you know, so then, so then, you know, I just realized, who he's really talking to and I just realized oh okay and then he even goes and then he even goes so there's so you can rely on yourself and then you don't have to rely on anyone else and I go yeah you can rely on yourself yeah I basically myself, I don't want to eat the cake and the cake is going in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> well well you know your yourself as source let's say that no, oh, okay. Okay, you, yeah. You know, because because you know, well, here's what I mean by that too. Here's what I mean by that. It's like you can always rely on love to come through. Love multiplies love. Mm. That's just all there is to it. That's mm. reliable. It's not gonna fail. <laughs> it's a hundred percent reliable. See, mm. so it's so to start out, it's the idea that love is not reliable. It's like thinking that love is not reliable that makes this idea that we need to cultivate relationships that with people we can rely on. Yeah. See? Because then then that's that's taking love and making it special. Right. Of course of miracles calls that special love. Special love always leads to dis-ease because it identifies you as something that needs that's in need See, right as and long you're as you're identified as something needy there's no way you can be sharing love nope. so and, and so that's the that's the thing behind it um it, a lot of people did get it um some some of them who didn't get it it's just for like wow um what um, one of them seeking seeking healthy relationships is about being reliable. I like that. That's awesome. Seeking health, healthy relationship is uh, it, it is about being reliable. And you know, it's like you are love, so you are a hundred percent reliable. So there you are. <laughs> and you know, there's no there's no need to seek for healthy relationships. What seeking for healthy relationships already believes that unhealthy relationships exist, that unhealthy relationship can exist. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just not possible. Um, you know, healthy and unhealthy is a judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and we're, we're entitled to joy. That's all there is to it. We don't have to make any judgments. It's just that knowing that we're entitled to joy. It's like, there's not consciousness isn't going to stick us into situations where it's not just not joyful. You know, it's just not going to move in that way. It's only in, in believing that for some reason we're not entitled to joy that we we're made to make choices that lead to, you could say disharmonious relating. There's no disharmonious relationships. But there's disharmonious relating. You see what I mean by that? Yes. Yes. Because relating is coming from the mind. Yes. And that's yes. not that's not genuine. <laughs> yeah, and it's right and it's right now. That's the thing. A relationship is the past. That's something that it that like I could say my relationship with Tony is totally based on my memory right right yeah see but when as i'm relating with him that's now yeah see, right. for the most part people are relating with, with their relationship you know it's like relating because it's because you know like i said it's like 
as consciousness in the dream as consciousness we're relating with thought right mm -hmm. so it's like relating with a with a concept like relating right. with a concept even when we're face to face together it's like relating with a concept and mm -hmm. you know i can feel the difference i can feel the difference and i and i'm i'm sure everyone can sense the difference if they're looking for it there's a difference between relating with that concept of the pet you know basically the past person mm -hmm. or relating right now and like basically all that can all that can really relate is love to love love to love you can call it sharing just to not get confused because the words can get confusing you can call it sharing because it shares itself mm. there's no sharing in relating with a concept and and see if there if the idea is that i need to cultivate healthy or reliable relationships, then when I'm face to face to, together with someone, all I'm doing is relating with a con a, a concept. It's not sharing. It's not right. sharing love. Because there's expecting that they're going to be a certain way, and there there's no way. That's not yeah, possible. You don't know. You mm -hmm. don't know. And then and then here's what I see too when um when it's relating with concepts. Here's what I see, and you know, it's like a person will uh, will walk up to another person and just immediately spill everything that they want that per how they want that person to perceive them. It's like so obvious. It's like it, it's like uh, it, it's like not even seeing the other person. It's just everything about what they're doing, why they're doing it, talking about themselves, and and trying to make a. a a perception over there, which is impossible. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. The person's going to see what they're going to see through right. their. Right. Yeah, it's 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 trying to get a perception of someone else having a positive perception of you. Yeah. It's really funny because there's nothing there. There's nothing. There's nothing there to get. Mm. There's nothing there at all. Someone that is seek, seeking healing, healthy, beneficial, successful partnership is someone that believes in the act of love. Someone that thinks love is unreliable or carries the belief that love is unreliable is someone that has not received love as action. Okay. Um, someone who thinks love is unreliable, not received love as action. Okay. Love is not a belief or something you say, it is an action. So one should always be seeking, acted on, reasonable, reliable, and responsible. Ooh, wow. Successful partnership. Wow, that's a lot of seeking. And when I talk to this lady, she can talk too. She can talk. <laughs> so it's not a perceived need. It's actually a culture deficiency that we do not always and actively seek reliable love. Okay. It is a necessity to find love that will not fail you. Okay, when you need it most. And that's that's really well said there. That's that's the stream of consciousness that I'm talking about. This is exactly the stream of consciousness that I'm talking about right here. It is a necessity to find love that will not fail you when you need it most. Yes. It's it's true that's in a way. Fine. It's true in a way, but when you're talking about it as if that love comes from people, right. That's not true. No, it's not true. It is, and you know, it, and and what it, what's going on is instead of seeking true love, the seeking is aimed toward getting love out of people. Exactly, and there's no way you can get love from someone else. Yes, and no. here's what I see, and here's and and here's what makes it makes it fun and challenging in my own perception is um watching these same people who talk like this suffer over and over and over again mm. over love from people lack of love from people it's right there on facebook it's documented mm. oh, <laughs> it's worst when it's hilarious <laughs> when it's like it's, it's like jesus it's like jesus said it's like jesus said something like the people are so thirsty but they don't even want to drink of water 
Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> They're so thirsty, but they don't want any water. <laughs> you know that you had an agenda with someone. If yeah. you, if you, if something doesn't go your so-called way and you cut them off, you're yes. so angry that you cut them off. That's right there. You want, we're trying to get something from someone. Well, and you know, and here's the, here's the thing too. You don't want to face your shadow. Right. If you're, if, you know, it's one thing, it's one thing. Okay. They get cut off. Let's not even put any kind of act to it because there's no acting. Let's say, okay, they get cut off, whatever. You know, in a lot of cases that I've seen, you know, people need that space too. It's like mm -hmm. consciousness just cuts that relationship off because people need that space. And right. people can still, you can still have that healing. You can still have the healing in the space without the person there. Right. So let's say, let's say it like this, Lori, um, you know, when you've had, what, what did you say? You've had expectations on them. You know, you've had expectations. Oh, you don't even know. All right. Well, let's make it up. You know, you've had, you know, you put expectations on them. If you feel pissed that they did what they did. If you're angry at something they did that didn't, that quote unquote displeased you. It's, right. Right there is your temple bell. Oh, oh my God, this is not, this is yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. And, and it doesn't matter what the, it doesn't matter what the action is. It's just staying in that awareness. Yes. See, it's like, it, it's like, it's almost like a sleepiness happens. Do you notice that? It's kind of like falling asleep under a spell of thought where it'll be like, it, it'll, it'll be like talking, talking, talking and, and, Oh yeah, and they'll start going. It'll do, there will be a pursuit of thoughts, like mm. on a train. Yes. Like, yeah. uh, like I wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. But why did that person do that? And it just keeps on going like that. Mm. That and and it's and and there's and there's falling into it. That falling into it, you start to see yourself fall into it too. It's mm. fun, mm -hmm. and and just and just noticing it, just watching it. That's it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what is what happens on the surface. If there's a willingness to see that that which is pursuing that thought train right now is leading to more suffering, mm. that's gonna stop. Because mm. because you can't do that in the light of consciousness for exactly. very long. No, it's funny. <laughs> eventually, it just yeah, it just stops. Yeah. yeah, it's like okay. How much self abuse do I want? You re you recognize what the self abuse is. You know, a lot of people think self abuse is like an addiction or something like that. Like the addiction, the, the addictive act itself is the self abuse. Like, say you're shooting heroin. Let's just go all the way to that. Screw it. So, say say you're, say you're shooting heroin, right? And you're thinking, oh, this shooting heroin is self abuse. I gotta stop abusing myself. Okay the the whether or not the stopping of heroin happens there will be other manifestations of self abuse unless it's seen where the abuse starts you got to see the root of it mm. you know the, well, root, the root of it is is identification yes. as in as in even the idea that that i made this choice to do heroin mm. Yes, because that's more beating up, and that's why the heroin is being done is to stop that pain from. Exactly. I'm not. I'm. I need to stop. Stop. I don't want to feel this. <laughs> yes, I don't want to. I want to feel good, and that's why I want whatever it is. It could be chips. It could be um, a box of Girl Scout cookies. Uh, <laughs> it, could, uh, it could be movies. <laughs> it could, you know, it could be sitting around watching movies. Whatever it is, and you know, it's like, and. It's, it's just, it's just that self abuse. It's a manifestation of something else. And mm -hmm. if you look for the manifestation, you know, that happened to me with eating. It was really fun. I was, um, I was talking with someone, I was talking with someone and he said something and then he, and then once he left, his voice kept on playing in my mind and I, and, and, and I just wanted to mind fuck it. And then I noticed I'm eating just like snacky stuffs. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, whoa. And so I, I, I didn't stop eating. The eating was still happening. 
right? Yeah. I could say it didn't stop eating. I don't really, when we say I like that, we really mean it as in right. a structure of because there's no right. I like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was still eating. It was still eating, but there was a noticing why it was eating. Mm. See? So that went on for a little while and then it just stopped. You know, that doesn't even happen. It doesn't, it hasn't anyways. I mean, it could, I don't mind, but it, you know, it, it, it had, it hasn't happened in a bit. Um, but you know, it, it's like once it was the first, first, it was just recognized, whoa, this eating, look at where it's coming from. Mm. You know, look what's going on in the consciousness mm. and look how this feels. And then, so noticing that time and time again, you know, it was probably a couple month process. I don't even know. But noticing it time and time again, whenever that kind of eating, it's a certain kind of eating. It's a certain kind of energy to it. Yes, I know this. Uh -huh. but I traced it back to what it is yet. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, so there's a little bit. So, so one thing that I see that there's a little bit of it's just a little bit re of rebelliousness with it. You know, at first when someone you know recognizes that. Food doesn't really affect you. You know, we've had a lot of conversations around that. And it's like, oh, it sure does seem like it. But you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to show that it doesn't, you know. And so that conceptual thing is playing more on the forefront. And what's behind it is hiding. See? Okay. What's behind it is it's kind of being veiled by the one that's on the forefront about food not really having an effect on the body. It's true. Food doesn't have any effect on the body. The mind does. The mind also affects food. See, it's like it's like it's like it it, it brings it, it brings it, it brings the food into the picture for the purpose for whatever purpose it needs to serve to get whatever feeling it's looking for. See. Ah, uh, yes. So so it's like it, it's like in the, in this case the ego could be using. The concept about how food does not affect the body. And remember, as a concept, that's really meaningless. It has to sink deeper than a concept. Right, um, right. So the ego can take that and 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 use it as a as sort of like a veil to cover up what it is that's driving that kind of eating. What's driving it? Something is driving it. Something's okay. driving it. Some some kind of dissatisfaction is actually driving it. You you know you know it is you know it you know it is here's how you know it is it's not like saying don't eat a lot or whatever but um because because you want it to go however it goes you want it to do whatever it does like if it's gonna if if it if it needs to eat a box of cookies like go ahead I want to see that I want to experience that that's awesome you know but mm. what happens is the experience becomes so conceptual especially that since there are so so many concepts around eating that it makes it almost impossible to see what the underlying um, right. pattern that's driving it yeah. see because it's not it it's not exactly I don't know you could tell me your own experience but from my experience that isn't exactly satisfying you know it's like at the at the end of that uh, of that okay cookies good cookies good cookies yeah. good. At some point, what happens is there's a there, there's this well if you look if you look at it there's this joy like the first bite of the cookie you take you taste you yes. notice how it tastes really really good you want another one yeah okay you want another one okay so then it gets to a point where yeah. it doesn't it, it's not like that anymore it right. gets to a point where it's it's not like that it's time it's you know it's time to slow down you can kind of feel it it's like up. Oh, and down like that yeah. but, but the eating still happens yeah the eating see the the eating it so if the eating still happens when that joy of eating isn't there that's where it's like it's like a, a it's like a symbol that of what's driving it of what's driving that well the thought is mm -hmm. when the sleep is gone I'm done when what when the sleeve is gone. When this sleeve is gone, I'm done. And then the next sleeve will start. Nope, 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 I won't until the next day. Okay, okay, okay. So, so see, so that, that right there, that thought right there takes the joy out of it. 
See, if it's followed, if it's believed, if it's identified with, because it makes it into a conceptual thing. Yes. Like, like it's about that's relevant. Do you see what I mean? I think, so. I mean, there's a thought that it's a bad thing. I won't do it the rest of that day till the next day. Yes. Okay. So there's, so you see the control in that. Yes, I do. Okay. So, so that has an opposite effect of what you're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. Okay. All right. So we're going to have eating 101. Bron, <laughs> uh, Bron, yeah, we'll make some brownies, but I'm on wisdom dialogues for another hour. So, so Bron, why don't you tell them how how do you eat? I eat. When, and when do you when do you stop eating your food? When I'm full. Yeah, and how do you know when you're full? When I know I feel full. Okay. <laughs> did you hear him? Yes, I did. <laughs> Think. How do you know? How do you know what to eat? Uh, what I eat, what I feel like eating. Did you Did you hear him? No, oh, that Say one that, I didn't. Hear. Say that a little bit more clearly so people can hear you. I eat what I feel like eating. When he feels that? like eating. Yeah. He eats what he feels like eating. And okay. Then, that's and then cool. he eats and then he eats until his belly feels full. Hmm. Simple. <laughs> Sometimes my belly doesn't feel full. Well, you, you know, it's hard to tell. Yeah. It's hard to tell when you have a thought like, at the end of this sleeve, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Ron doesn't think like that. And neither do I. Yeah. We don't eat like that. Huh. See, we don't have to. We don't, because we, because we, and, and the reason is, you know, none of us are really capable of thinking. The reason is that this thought isn't attractive. This, it isn't attracted to us because we're not, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't give it energy. Like, that would just be funny. Mm. That, would just, that would just be like a joke, you know. And, and that's how it can be. That, that's how it can be for you when you hear, I'm just going to stop at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> when the sleeve is done. When the sleeve is done. When the sleeve is done, I'm cut off. Okay, but I have to eat the whole sleeve, and I can't eat any more than the sleeve. Okay. <laughs> and then to get me some more, I said no. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you see how guilty that is? Yes, completely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's a lot going on there. Oh, you, yeah. you know, with the with the eating of the cookies, there's a whole lot going on, and a lot of opportunity. Yeah, but it's I, maybe there's too much to see through. Oh so. gosh, were you telling a joke? <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna fall for that one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think? What, what do you think the whole purpose is? Like, are you gonna be giving? Are you gonna be given a purpose that you can't ha handle? <laughs> It seems that way. This has been my whole life, Hope. Literally. Well, my well, that's, well that, that's what it's for, though. That's what it's for. The whole, the, uh, you know, basically, what is, what is life? It's a lifetime, right? Yeah. And time is, time is kind of like a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, like, it's yeah. like a gift for awakening. It's like that's all it's for. Oh, and that's the, whole, that's the whole point. That's what I was talking about with the relationships you know that like trying to get trying to make your relationships reliable and stuff like that it's it's missing the whole what it's for what this is for in the mm -hmm. first place it's like trying to get something for an individual instead of using time as it's supposed to be used that we wanted let's say it's using time how we really want to use it which is to basically escape the illusion of time <laughs> the illusion of separation all right. Well, let's go back to the 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 thing about. Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened Sunday. Uh, there was a random guy that um, messaged me on Facebook, and I ended up. He ended up calling me on Messenger. Uh huh. And so we talked for like three hours. Well, he did most of the talking, believe it or not. And when he was 
when he was just going on and on and on, there was no, you know, I could watch the thoughts of, like you were talking about, was trying to judge him. It was constantly trying to judge him. Mm-hmm. Is he real? Is he, is, does he really understand non-duality or is he just crazy? Is he <laughs> oh my so manic? And I was, there, I, I was watching all of those thoughts and trying, trying to throw it into the future. Are we going to be friends for a long time? Is it, this is, you know, it was literally into so much. I, and with me being able to be quiet because he was doing all the talking, I was able to literally watch every single thought going by. Mm-hmm. So why can't I do that with what I'm, why I'm going to eat when I know that I'm not hungry? <laughs> what do you mean? Why it, it, you're not doing anything? All all there is all there is is an awareness. The the eating is arising in the field of awareness. There's when the when the eating when the eating happens. There's just a, a, a you're wanting something else uh, rather than rather than the truth. You're wanting something else. There's something else wanted. There's an ulterior motive going on there. So it's like wanting something else more than the truth. And it's just, and it's just a, still a matter of it being in the field. Of, here, here it is, Lori. Cookies going in the mouth, mm-hmm. and the attitude is just like, show me. Oh. See, instead of the in, instead of the thought about when you're going to stop eating the cookie, you can eat them so slow and have a beautiful experience with them. Mm-hmm. Or you might find yourself eating them fast and and not having a beautiful experience, but whatever it is, whatever it is, that's your experience, mm-hmm. and that's the that, that's the point. Just because you're eating them fast doesn't mean you don't have a good experience. Well, that's true. Just because you're eating them fast doesn't mean you're not having a good experience. You could have be having a really good experience eating really fast. <laughs> 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 I'm glad they're out of this house and they're not coming back in this house. What? I'm glad they're out of this house and they're not coming back. Who is who is glad about what? Girl Scout cookies. The thin mints are not coming back okay, in this. Okay, you are you you're you're playing into it right there. <laughs> you know it. You're playing into it right there. Whose voice is that? Totally the mind. Yeah, it's egoed out big time. Yeah, it's like it, it's like um, as if there's a house, you know. Now you're safe because the cookies aren't in the house. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Not in this one. No, I can't say this is fun because this is. Oh, been really? Like, and why is I'm that? So over it. What? I want I want to be over. I want to see. I want to see. Okay, so that's a, that's the same voice that says the other thing we just talked yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> feel it. I can feel it. Okay. You know, cause yeah, you can feel it. The thing is, the thing is, no, you don't. You don't want to be over this. You want to see, and that's why. That's why you're getting the experience. Because that's what that's what you that's what you truly want is to see. Yes, you know. And it, and, so it's and trying to show me. But that's why you're getting the experience for that. That's why you're for that. So it's like like for me when I experienced myself eating like that, I was like, oh, thank you, 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 thank you. <laughs> like inside, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> See, it's, it's not, there's not anything wrong with it. It's the, it's the thinking that there's something wrong with it and thinking that it needs to change. Yes, um, that's, it's, totally it's, that, yeah. it's that kind of thinking that wants to multiply itself. See, mm. basically mm. thoughts multiply themselves. So the thinking that it's wrong and it needs to change is multiplying itself. Meaning this is wrong and needs to change and this is wrong and needs to change. Boy, the things that are wrong need to change or are adding up, you know? Cause that's because they multiply <laughs> yeah 
and they get more intense. So then around food, it gets more intense. It's like a, it's like a, um, right now it is very high intensity. Okay, good. Very good. like the highest ever. Okay, good. Good. That's perfect. So I'm just going to keep saying, show me. Well, and you know, it's it's not so much the words too. So that's why I always change the words. You notice I'm always changing the words. And that's because it's not about the words at all. So that show me, it's more like an attitude than some words or an affirmation or something like that. It's like an attitude of opening to a, a new way of seeing, of, of basically having having what you believe right now corrected. Yes, exactly. It's a, it's a, it's a humility that, that no one can see. It's not shown, you know, it's not like, it's not like, Oh, she's so humble. You know, it's a humility. Thing. <laughs> no one can see. Cause it's like, I must be mistaken. <laughs> yes, obviously. Yeah. Since this is intense, I must be mistaken. Mm. See? And it's like, it, it's like for, every, for everyone, it's, it, it's some kind of different thing. Like I was talking with one friend, hers is relationships, just constantly getting beat up, not in her relationship like that, but, you know, emotionally beat up and distraught with relationships and, you know, everything else for her eating is fine. She feels good with that. She feels good with all this stuff, but it's that. And I noticed that, you know, different people have a different thing that they're right. And in right. your case happens to be that. So awesome. That's fun. You're hilarious. Wisdom eat a log. Wisdom eat a log. That's what we're having now. <laughs> Wisdom eat a log. Yes. So, so what would you say your thing is? Um, it's been, it has been um definitely relationships and also I did I'd say it's two things. Relationships and um and the other one was uh I guess like stressing out at work. Yeah. Mm. You know, to the point where I was like, I can't even work. I'm just all stressed out at work. Yeah, I go to the mini warm ponds instead. So um yeah, stuff like that. So so it's like um it's not anything to get your panties in a wad about, so to speak. Yeah. Um it's just it's it's just this uh, that kind of stuff. It's just a habit. It's being applied to food right now, but it's just a habit. The food doesn't isn't really there. See, mine just comes up with these different things that we have uh, we have our challenges with, but those things aren't really there. It's not really like that. Just perceiving that. So, so let it, as in that structure of thought that looks like your body, just do what it does. And then, and then, you know, in watching what it does and noticing what it's, what it does, and you don't have to try to look for the root. It's more like a curiosity. It's like, oh, this is interesting. That's the attitude now. See, it's like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Like for me, it was like, ooh. I see that, you know, that's interesting. That's interesting to me. I didn't, I, I didn't even need to entertain thoughts about how this food is going to affect my body or whether or not I should be eating it or when I'm going to stop or anything like that, because it's so much more interesting to see what's motivating it. Something's motivating every single act. And notice what's motivating it. And there won't be any addictive and there won't be a, a, any addiction at all because that, cures the addiction in the mind and then there's no need for addiction to things mm. it's just the manifestation of the mind so so you know in in your case food has been used as a cover-up for guilty feelings yeah. guilty consciousness <laughs> and it's been used to project more guilt onto yourself well, that's it. It's perpetuating guilt. Yeah. So do you see how it's covering it up? It's giving you some temporary satisfaction in exchange for per perpetuating more of it. I see so that. It's really
lose lose situation for you. Oh, definitely. I see that the it's perpetuating, yeah. but I don't know where the guilt is coming from in the beginning. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to. It's just that it's just that you see that it's it, noticing that it's perpetuating is enough. Oh. So you're trying to make it more than that, and that's totally enough. Whatever it is that you're seeing is enough. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is, it's it's good. It's good. Remember, it's healing. But isn't there a root cause? Yes, and it and and here's the thing: it cannot be revealed as it's as there's the there's this veil kind of being thrown up as an individual who's looking for it. Oh. See, that's how I that that's why I change the words a lot. Like you know, like recently I started saying, "Okay, let me see." It's like, let me see. But it's like that. It's not exactly that. You know, it's like, it's like, it, it's like an attitude. It's like a, it's like an energy of, of, I guess you could say it's like surrender. And it's to whatever it is. It's not trying to get something out of the experience. It's not trying to get somewhere. It's just letting the experience, if the experience is just allowed to be the experience, that's how healing happens. And see, the ego underestimates the power of that. But that's the most powerful force. That's love to just experience whatever it is. Even any judgments that arise about it or anything, it's just an experience of what it is. Mm. It's okay. The eating is okay. It's not, it, it, and, 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 a, and, the, and a big fear of it that it's going to do something to your body. Your body needs to be in whatever shape it arises in. It mm. needs to be in that shape because any shape that it is, it's for awakening the mind. So it can't be in the wrong shape, even if it even if it grows, even if it shrinks, it can't be in the wrong shape. So there's this so so there's this um, ego need to doubt what is, as in this isn't good enough. Me eating a bunch of good Girl Scout cookies isn't good enough. See. I want to be over this. Exactly. I want to be yeah. Over. Yeah. So that that right there is the thought that that number one may be covering up something something at a deeper layer, or that may just be the root. You don't know. Mm, I don't know. You will, but you but you will know you you will know when you when you sense that relief. When you sense that, that re I mean, talking about real relief, and I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just covering something up. Mm -hmm. When, when you, you know, you take that, take that thought and, and watch where, watch where it goes. And notice if it, if it's making you, making pain, make you notice if it's making suffering in your body. Mm -hmm. And, and as that's allowed to play out, as that works itself out, you might find just from that, you're not needing to do the eating. You're not driven to it. Mm. It's not driven there. Is it anything compulsive. Anything compulsive like that. Mm. It's good, though. When it comes up, you're just like, oh, yay. Here's yeah. something compulsive. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, 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 um, and don't evaluate. You don't have to evaluate it. Thoughts might arise that try to evaluate it, mm. but you don't have to pursue those. Mm. And if, they, if, if they're evaluating something, they're not true. You cannot mm. be evaluated, and you're not actually doing that. These things are arising in a space of awareness. Mm. So be mm. happy. Uh, you know, and and everything, and everything, be glad. I think that's a Bible verse, but you know, it's like, be glad because whatever it is that's arising at number one, we talked about it before. It's what you want. It's what you really want because it's 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 the opportunity for what you know, escaping the illusion of separation. So it's whatever it is, it's what you really want, and. And what whatever's talking about it 
analyzing it, weighing it, comparing it, all that kind of stuff. That's mm -hmm. just distractions. Right. And when you see them as distractions, you won't get distracted. Mm. Isn't that fun? <laughs> well, that is actually. Yeah. It is. It makes it fun. It makes it, you know, and, 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 you know, it, it, you could, you could really sense, oh, I can't wait till the next time I feel like eating a shitload of Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Where are those cute little Girl Scouts? Are they still selling over there? <laughs> or, you know, maybe it'll be something else, but just the alert and not, the, and, and no need to go in any kind of judgment about it. Hmm. Just the alertness. We've talked about this a lot before, but the reason, you know, we, we keep on talking about it again and again is because the, the, the mind is throwing out all these different illusions, various illusions. And it's like there gets to be this confusion, like, does it apply right here too, you know? Or how does it apply here? And it's always the same. If there's any kind of evaluation or anything, you know that's nothing. The reason is you're very repetitive. The reason, Bron said, the reason is I'm very repetitive. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it happened again. What? We talked about this before, about something else that had to do with me. I mean, with this. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's the same thing, uh, but, you know, that's, you know, just that's something that we've talked about before. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about um, weight, and mm -hmm. we didn't focus as much on eating. Oh yeah, well this is this is definitely. A, I think the eating one hundred and one is is a first. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really <laughs> In fact, good. that's the name of this video. <laughs> it's going to be eating one hundred and one. <laughs> or wisdom <laughs> eater logs. Wisdom eater logs will be the subtitle. Logs, right. <laughs> So, so basically, like, look how look how a little kid eats without without having their parents making them eat whatever their parents want them to eat. Look how a little kid would normally eat. Like, you could take my son Braun, for instance. You know, he just told you guys. He eats when he's hungry, stops eating when he's full, and, mm. and the way he knows what he's going to eat, it's whatever he feels like eating. Mm. And there's no stories going on anywhere. There's no about stories. It. Yeah. There's no <laughs> stories. So much freedom in that. Yeah, there's a lot, and and there's a lot of, and and see, you are freedom. Yes. So definitely. the stories that are talking, you can recognize those stories as yourself. You know, mm -hmm. like I'm I'm freedom, and these stories are happening in me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't have to buy. You don't have to buy into them. Buy into them, right? Right. That's right. all. The yeah. stories. The stories are going to keep on playing because it's a habit for them to play. Right. Oh, it's a, it's a habit like for probably 45 years. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know, and, and in those 45 years, you've been, you've been unconsciously choosing to believe those thoughts. Yes. So now, now that you're, now that you're conscious of them, mm. you can make another choice. See? Right. I see. So it's like in the moment where that thought is coming up and it's evaluating this eating of Girl Scout cookies, you can either make the same choice, which is unconscious. It's kind of like falling asleep. Or you can make a choice for, oh, this is what it is. Mm. You know what it is already. You know what it is. And it's kind of, it's almost like you go into it under a spell of thought. It's almost like this. Thought train cast a spell on you, mm -hmm. and you go to sleep. Yes, you, know, you already you already know that that going to sleep is a choice. You're not a victim of the mind. See, you're not a victim of this train of thought. That's a choice. It's an unconscious choice. True, but there can also be there there can also be a choice in consciousness mm. through consciousness and just kind of like. That, I know uh, just like I know what that is mm. I know I know what that is it's kind of like um you know biblically biblically it would be referred to as um recognizing the deceiver Ooh. see recognizing yeah. the deceiver that's known as the devil right 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 
a deceiver. So it's like these thoughts are coming from a, dece a deceiver. It's like it's, it's like this uh, this entity that's made of the thought of separation. They, all these kinds of thoughts come out of it. It mm. keeps on, you know, it's because they multiply. They they need to multiply. It's like they that, that's what they need to keep their steam going. And in order to multiply, they have to have conscious belief in them. See, you have to have to have belief in them. Without belief, they get cut off. Even mm. as they're playing out, they're cut off. No one has to get a pair of scissors and cut it off because as it's playing out, even if it's still playing, even if it's still talking, when it's recognized for what it is, it's cut off, meaning that it's not making any more karma. See? Mm. It's not multiplying itself to play mm. out again. Mm. Even if it seems to be playing out right now. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so Yulia has her hand up. Uh, how are you doing, Lori? You have any more questions along that line right now? Good. All right. Well, raise your hand. You know, you know the dealio. Go until four thirty. Aloha, Yulia. Aloha, hope. I missed you, and I missed the wisdom dialogues. And uh, oh, welcome I, back. I listen. I listen to the older recording. I listen to Lori. I, I see her Facebook posts. I even share them sometimes. Good Great. Posts. Oh, how fun. That's nice that you guys are connected. <laughs> At least in, to an extent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of with the wisdom dialogues. Uh, in my life a lot you know i just listen to them while driving in the car i go back to to it in a lot of things and it seems like i kind of know the answer to everything so there's nothing to ask but yeah. i was you know but that doesn't necessarily translate to uh oh every moment is so easy and beautiful <laughs> sure, sure. so you were talking about motivation and seeing motivation of some of the, like being curious about motivation of some of the patterns that yes. um, come up. So here's, ooh, I'm offering one of my recent patterns. <laughs> okay, fun. And, Thank and you. the recent pattern is, and it's not so recent, I guess, it occurred throughout my life, is when I'm suddenly uh, finding myself in a whirlwind of, work and other activities and being busy 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 so busy so busy i'm getting overwhelmed and and more overwhelmed and i have to do this and to do that and everybody wants something from me and everybody needs something from me um and then um i'm, I'm starting to feel lazy in the middle of it and i want to watch something uh, on netflix or i want to read something or i want to go for a walk i want to procrastinate then i want to hurry and and i have to get things fast and get prepared for something because it's it's a, the deadline is coming up so there's always that experience of being in a hurry um, yeah. and uh, and being a little a, somewhat stressed out, although I can't say I'm as stressed out as I used to be about it because yeah. I am aware how it's all um, a show and an experience, you know, yeah. the same kind of experience. But um, just offering that to you to maybe help get down to the bottom of what motivates it. Um, and again, when I have slow times when there's no world and it's like oh my god everybody forgot about me nothing is happening oh no uh, i'm not gonna make any money i'm a freelancer <laughs> yeah that's great that is great yeah so those are habits and see how they're opposites so they mm -hmm. just keep on they just keep on playing off of each other and in the moment when it comes up like either way the, let's take the frustration. You know, it seems like you're. Hey, excuse me. We're having wisdom dialogues right now. Is that okay? Wisdom dialogues is over in 25 minutes. Oh no. <laughs> Hi. Hi, <Hey>, Ron. <laughs> He's always having fun. He's always having fun. That's for sure. Um. So. It's over. I, mean, I might not be able to continue. Is that right, Bron? Are you going to be doing this? Is this, is this what's going on right now? <laughs> or can you give me 25 minutes? What do you think? Okay, we'll we'll see what happens. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, so um, yeah, the frustration and the overwhelm. I'm really familiar with that. Really familiar um with 
with work, with kids, with house, all that kind of stuff. And you know, it's like, it's, it's really just a feeling. It's really just a feeling that's coming and it's passing, you know, it comes up and then it passes. So it's not a problem at all. It's just, a, it's just a feeling that comes up and it's gone. But what happens is there's an idea that I need to get somewhere. Notice how your voice, you start talking in this fast pace. Like I, I really am overwhelmed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like that. And, uh -huh. and that whole, that, that whole mindset of that quickness within that, there can be a relaxation because that itself is only a habit. And that's something that I've experienced so much. And in fact, this morning when I was going, I, I was going to Hilo by, by eight o'clock in the morning. And, um, and as I was getting ready to do some stuff into my car and stuff, I felt it. That said, that frustration, that, uh, that overwhelm kind of feeling, I just noticed it come up and then pass and it's just gone. It just doesn't need to stay there. But see, if I notice it come up and take it as true, it perpetuates it. And this goes for any thought. It just makes it keep on going. Uh -huh. And it really is that simple. What motivates, what motivates you to move like that all fast or however, whatever's happening, whatever the movement is, what motivates that is the idea that you can be separate that you can be overwhelmed, that you could have too much to do. It's not possible. It totally ties you into time. Mm -hmm. It's always the same. <laughs> it's always the yeah, same. It's always, it's, it's always the same. And it's, and it's yeah. funny because when you, when you recognize that it really is tying you into time and there's not anything true about it, that feeling of overwhelm, that feeling of frustration can come and it's okay. You know what's you know what's great? It's so relieving. Like this morning when I was doing the thing, you know, getting the getting the car, getting in the car and stuff, and noticing that feeling of over oh my gosh, overwhelm. And it's such a relief that it's not true, that it's really fun. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, thank goodness, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I'll be mm -hmm. fucked if that was true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was kind of on the verge of that a few times, like, like, wait a minute. This is not really bad. Yeah. Yeah. So as as you as you keep focus like that, more and more will break down and you'll start to see more. You'll start to recognize, "Oh, and it gets easier and it gets actually fun. Oh man, I haven't felt overwhelmed in like a week. When am I going to feel it again?" That, that thing's interesting. <laughs> you know, cuz every time every time it's felt and it's experienced like that, a healing happens. A healing happens. How That's cool. what, I <laughs> what? How cool. Yeah. Because every time it's experienced like that, the next time it comes around, it's going to be caught sooner and it's going to be easier. That's just the way it goes. Mm -hmm. When it's really truly experienced, is it because because it's like it, it it's like that is not true. And you will well, in that space of show me, let me see, whatever, you know. That is, that's the opening to be, to be shown, to let it be revealed that, oh, actually that's not true. Cause all that made me feel overwhelmed right now was a thought and that thought is not true. So what a relief, mm -hmm. you know, how glad I am that there's nothing to actually be overwhelmed about. Even if I have an appointment, if I'm not there by the certain time, this <sighs> that kind of thing, it's like, it can just be there and it's okay because it's recognized that it's not really true. So even if it's, even if it's still feeling overwhelmed, that's okay too, because that feeling of overwhelmed just becomes part of the ride. Mm -hmm. It's a ride. I see your question, Lori. I'll be back to that. Um, one more, one more quick question. Yeah. Um, remember I used, I used to come to you and tell me, Oh my God, my kids are playing video games. They're staying at yeah. home. They're doing nothing. Well, guess what? They left. <laughs> I, I bought a big huge house I relaxed about it I thought oh it's fine you know my parents are coming everybody's is going to be together and let them all live together how great I got a big house and they ran away no they, they didn't get like proper jobs they didn't go to college they didn't do anything I wanted them to, wanted them to do but the point is I, 
I barely see them now, and I miss them like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. See how, yes. see how the ego plays? First, they're there, and you can't stand them. Then they're gone and you miss them. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, they're yeah. not that none of that stuff. Yeah. So, People have asked me, you. like, my daughter. Like, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't hear you for a moment. People have asked me before when my my daughter left. She was here in Hawaii and then she left. And people have asked me, Oh, don't you miss her? And I'm uh -huh. like, I don't miss. I'm not capable of missing. <laughs> You know, I'll remember that. <laughs> it just isn't. It isn't true. It isn't true. It's just another story. Hmm. Lori's going. What? Her kids are gone. Lori might not know that your kids are grown. They're all grown. Yeah, yeah. They're they're in their twenties, right? <laughs> yeah. It's not like they ran away from home and they're out in the street or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> they they got their places to live with their buddies and they. they yeah, that's, and they that's didn't. Why they ran away. Yeah. And they didn't, and, and they didn't do what they didn't do what Yulia thought she wanted them to do. They did what right. she, they did what she actually wanted them to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ouch! <right. laughs> uh, it's so nice to hear from you again. Yes, good to hear from you too, and good to be here. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Whenever I can. Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, Lori has another question. Do you have anything else for me before I switch over? Um, I was going to say something, but maybe it's okay. Um, no, it's okay. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Yulia. Thank I love you. you too. Thanks, Hope. Uh, Thank you. Aloha. Hey there, I wanted to say hi to Yulia, and she came out so clear. Her oh, her voice was crystal clear on this. Holly and, and I were like, isn't. and mine isn't. Well, I don't know. Didn't it sound she different? Used to, yeah, she I don't know. She was. Ever it was just yeah. clear as a bell. I mean, just like she was part of my computer or something. I don't know. Good. Um, I was, yeah, I was, uh, when I wrote her kids are gone, because I know that was such a big focus for her about they're not yeah. working, they're just doing video games all the time, and it was tough, but I'm just like the weight thing for me, and so they're yeah. gone, so now my weight thing's going to go. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're so funny. <laughs> you're just playing right into it again and again. <laughs> Julia said there's Play, they're they're still playing video games. They probably call her up and just remind her that they're playing video games, just so she knows. <laughs> Sing thing, hope. You know what? I'm the same. When yeah. somebody is not, it's okay. Yeah. I'm, my granddaughter. I miss you so much, and and I have to say I miss you too. But I'm I don't. You don't have to. I never say it. You don't. Well, at least not. at least I haven't so far. But you know, it, it's it's. I just I just tell people I love them. Well, I'll, that's I'll say, that, they'll say I miss you, and I'll say I love you. I say that too. I say that anyway. But yeah. hmm, that's something I could do. Yeah. Yeah. I just it, it, you know you don't you 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 you. Uh, you say you have to say it. See, that's a that's a belief. That's an obligation. You right, don't really right. It feels like an obligation. Exactly. Because yeah, it I, doesn't really matter if you do or not. I'm just saying that the thought the the, the thought that you're believing is an obligatory thought. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. that's all. So it doesn't yeah. really matter what you do. It's just that you know, for me in my case, when I realize that I don't really miss anyone, and I can't really say that truthfully. And then it just it just stopped coming out of my mouth. So so the missing to me was a long. It's like a longing. It yeah. Used to be. Yeah, and that's not here anymore. And I, I don't know why. Why? <laughs> well, it's just, it's well well for one thing, it's it's saying that something is missing, and nothing is missing. It's like you. It's the idea that someone is not here. It's imaginary. It's nice. only imaginary. 
and it's yes. and it's a, and it's imagined that way for a purpose. So what's what's missing is like a distraction, because it's like not recognizing the purpose now. Now, right? It's like missing is like it, it, it's like getting distracted. Mm. But you know, and and in that being said, missing the the energy of missing may arise in the field of experience and it's okay it just passes yeah, yeah no one has to identify with that oh god i miss you you know you could hear that voice and not identify with it but you know a lot of for for most people they still want to identify with that voice it's romantic they feel romantic to be missing someone right right you know? And that makes the special relationship and all special that. Special relationship, that's right. And a special relationship is always formed when people don't understand what a relationship's for. Right, right. You know, why are we relating in the first place? Mm -hmm. Are we relating? Are we relating to uh, try to uphold the illusion, or are we, are we relating to get free? Mm -hmm. you know? So it's like it, it's like a lot of the times, a lot of the relating, most of the relating is is used for the purpose of upholding the illusion right right it doesn't and when it doesn't have to mm. see so a lot of this is us playing into it this uh, uh this these obligatory thoughts like well we're supposed to say that and that's why i say it you know stuff like that it's like it's all open you're totally free it's like it's all open Whatever it is, it, it, it could be anything. There's nothing, there's nothing holding you to any way of being except for your, your own, you know, beliefs, taking things to be true, taking thoughts to be true. Oh. So you asked about Tony. I only have a few minutes. I have a feeling Braun will be back unless he forgets about me. That's possible too. That happens. <laughs> so you said, what happened to Tony? Oh, well, of course, he, he wanted that experience. Well, you know, it's not like uh, it, it's not like it, uh, the, the physical manifestation of Tony thought that he wanted the experience, right. exactly. you know, but it, it's not like he was going, it's not like he was resisting it either. You know, he was cool. He was so, all cool. So we, it just passed. Yeah. Yeah, so so here's here's what happened. He it, he fell. Um, I go, whoa, are you okay? And he's like, I can't move. So I turned the yoga tape off, went over there, um, loved him up a little bit, and then um, he's like, well, I'm gonna just um, bear crawl over to the bathroom because I have to go to the bathroom. So he bear crawled across the house, and he can't lift his pelvis off the ground, otherwise it hurts. And, and so, and so he gets to the bathroom and he's like, I can't do it. I can't get up there. <laughs> wow. And what are you going through? What's going through your mind at the time? For the most part, I'm laughing. <laughs> yes. And we're making jokes. He was even calling himself Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That made it easy. Okay. It was very funny. <laughs> it was, and and then you know, it's like it's like you know, like I was talking about before. If someone was going to ask me, and I was going to search my consciousness for who's the most reliable, it would be him. You know, he pretty much like takes care of the whole house, and I'm just like kind of like doing my creative thing, whatever. And he's like, um, doing doing his his thing, and so it was, it was just funny. We're joking around and stuff, and it, and and you know. Also, I realized that he, you know, he may be feeling unsupported because a lot of the times when something like that in the back, it's just a symbol. The person's feeling like maybe they don't have support. And so that was really fun to play with, you know, just um, loving him up and giving him, uh, giving him all kinds of attention. And of course, um, and lifting him onto the toilet. Well, I, I can't lift him, but he, when he had to, when he had to do number two, he just went through that pain and got up there. Wow. But for number ones, we just got him a little jar. How long was he in oh, that? I don't remember now. This was pretty recent. Um, um, hmm. Well, maybe a couple days. Um, maybe. What? Yeah. So he, so the first day was like that. He couldn't, um, 
he couldn't sleep in our bed because our beds lifted. So he couldn't sleep in our bed for maybe a couple nights. What the hell? Um, our couch is lower, so he was able to get his body up there. And then, um, and then, yeah, it was funny. It was a couple funny incidences because people come to work with us. Like a bunch of people come to work with us every day. And mm -hmm. it was a week, it was a work day. And he's bear crawling across that. He's the boss, right? <laughs> Around the house. Oh my god. But yeah, it just passed. He didn't even go see any doctor. Eventually he went to a chiropractor, but that was when he felt better, you know. Um he's he just we got it we gave him lots of bone broth. Um and I you know, I let him know that it's okay. I'm like because he he was really seemed like he may, may, was maybe concerned about how I was going to deal, you know. I'm like, I got this, honey. This is totally good. It's all good. Just is just have this time. It's awesome. Mm. You know. Yeah. It didn't last very long. But days. I didn't, know, I didn't know how long it was going to last. One of my yeah. friends, one of my friends was like, would you just take care of him for the rest of his life? And I go, well, that's kind of a trick question because the rest of, rest of his life is theoretical. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <Only right now. laughs> I'm taking care of him right now. I know that. <laughs> Apparently, consciousness, they, let's say consciousness through me is taking care of him. You know, it's just, it's just how it's motivated right now. Right. You know, yeah. and it was beautiful, and and uh, um, and you know, every thought about how long, you know, is it going to be short? Is it going to be long? That was just enjoyed as part of the comedy, you know, because yeah. it's not really, it, it doesn't have any kind of weight. And and one friend came over when he was crawling. He he ended up getting to crawling in a couple days, or one day. I think it was one day he got to crawling, and um, and he was crawling across the house, and he was going past where the front door is and then one of the someone who comes to help with the yard was standing there and oh. and he's like oh hey what's up and they start they're having a full-on conversation i'm listening oh, to he's, on all fours. he's, on, he's like he's kind of like yeah he's kind of on all fours and uh and he's he's letting the guy know you know what what he'd like to have done and everything like that and then he's like Oh, by the way, just so you know, I'm on the floor because my back got hurt. He's like, what? He's like, I thought you were playing around. <laughs> okay, so the guy obviously, all right. So Tony <laughs> is usually a jokester then? He's usually <laughs> joking around. Okay, because that guy wouldn't have, would have, if my husband was on all fours and he was talking to the neighbor outside, he'd be like, what? <laughs> They would not think he's playing around. Yeah. That's cool. I thought you were playing around. <laughs> oh my shit. I know. I know. Because Tony, you know, he didn't doesn't act like anything, you know, he just like talks to him like normal. Like <laughs> oh, by the way, in case you were wondering why I'm on the floor talking to you. <laughs> It was really funny. And then and then I noticed that, you know, all of a sudden things got super busy. You know, Yulia was talking about the overwhelm. So I got a little chance to play with that, um, you know, because all of a sudden now this guy who totally takes care of the house all day long is down, completely unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> so it all falls on hope. Well, you, but there's no hope. That's the thing. And that's why it's easy. Uh okay. Okay. That's why it's easy because I'm not doing anything. There's nothing for me to do. There's nothing for me to do. The doing just right. the brain, it just goes. It's motivated by mind. Right, right. And right. carried out by consciousness. So mm -hmm. there's nothing that I'm actually doing in that. Right. But it seems like, and you know what else is funny, Lori? So at the at, at this time, also, so this is the same time that the washer went out. I guess I didn't mention that. Remember, I told you the wa about the washer going out. Sure, but you didn't tell us anything. About okay, well, the, the man was down first, and then the washer went out. Oh, <laughs> damn! And I was telling him, and I was telling those guys in Sears that I'm getting to my workout. <laughs> the hell! <laughs> the hey, 
<laughs> it makes it interesting. It makes it interesting. <laughs> but I'm getting to that damn workout. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm going to be working out at noon. <laughs> With or without a washer, my husband on a door is all <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, shit. You can't make this shit up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And then, and then, um, and then also at the same time, the same day where I went to, I went over there to Sears, um, the, the same day my car also was in the shop oh <laughs> yeah isn't that fun i was like wow all this stuff is happening at once this is like a prime uh, this, this is like prime circumstances for overwhelm and i'm kind of like where is it <laughs> oh really <Where> overwhelm <laughs> and it never hit shouldn't it be coming <laughs> No shit, and it didn't. No, no, I noticed it a couple times, but it was just so small. It was just nothing. It was small, nice. Yeah, it was just really nice. small. It was, just, it was, it was just fun. Like kind of like I was saying before. Oh, thank goodness, that's not true. Right, right, right. There's no hope doing this. That's the thing. There's no hope doing it. Yeah. And I, I could just tell my husband honestly, I got this. You, you know, this. Who knows? It's it's a fluctuation of energy. It could just be gone in a second, or it could not be gone in a second. And you know, we don't know. Just whatever it is, it is. It's cool. You're good. I got this. Mm. And it was funny because like the first night, the first night, and he he couldn't get up to all fours yet. And um, I was I was like, well, honey, I'm going to bed. I'm leaving the kitchen a complete fucking disaster, but you can't see it, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't see it. <laughs> you have to tell him. It's just for fun because he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> so he just had to suffer in silence. <laughs> Oh, he's 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 good. He's he's awesome with stuff like that. Really, I thought he wanted it all clean and and pretty looking. Oh, oh no, no, no. He's not going to suffer over it. No, 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 no. But yeah, it does. It bothers him. It doesn't bother him. Oh no, I I wouldn't. I I would I would give him a lot more credit than that. I would say that he knows that if he feels bothered, it's not because of a circumstance. Ah, okay. You know. He's okay. not, yeah, he's, he, he doesn't, he, he can't see it. So he doesn't mind. Right, 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 so right. It, 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 for him, it's like he, he wants to use it. He wants to use the kitchen. That's why he wants it clean. Oh, I see. I see. It, it, that's, he's not like scared of germs or something. Okay. <laughs> and but he would clean it himself if, yeah. if yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so there's no, if, if he's not going to use it, there's no no need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's obviously going to use it from the yeah, floor. Yeah, I don't mind. When I go to use it, if it's a mess, I'll just make some more messes and then clean a really big mess at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter me either. Yeah, so, yeah, so that was fun. And, and um, yeah, it, and it's it's gone. It was amazing because it seemed like there. It, it's like I. It's like all of a sudden I felt like I was in this in this kind of routine. It's like okay, this is the routine now. This is out. You know, it's like a somebody said it to me before. It's like a. It's like a different program. Okay, shift into a different program. Okay, yeah. It's like another program, right? Well, then you had to go out of that program. <laughs> What's that? You had to go back to your old program when he he got back. Well, it's just natural though. I mean, it's so, so it's like, there's this program where it's like, okay, hope is, hope is in charge around here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hope's doing all this stuff. And, um, and then, and then uh, I'm in the kitchen and, and, uh, and, and it's doing something. It's like making some food or whatever. I forgot what it was. And then all of a sudden he's there. <gasps> and he's, Next. All of a sudden he's there and he's not oh. only there. But he's what we call sous chefing. We call it sous chefing. That's like basically where I'm in the kitchen making a big fucking mess and he's cleaning up behind me. 
<laughs> Were you all shocked? Of sudden, he's, all of a sudden, he's sous chefing again. And I'm like, like, holy shit, it's like, that's a, that's amazing. It's like, it, thank you. It's like, it, I, I wasn't, ex I, I wasn't like in an expectation of it to come back or missing it or anything. It's like, I forgot it was what it was even like. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, I'm, like, I'm like, oh my goodness. It's like, it's almost like I forgot that program even exists. <laughs> like, <it's awesome. laughs> so it just came out of it just like that. Um, it was, it was gradual. Like he, um, he was he was at the point where he was able to stand up but walk really slow. So it was kind of like a gradual thing, but he wasn't like doing his thing because basically, you know, all he would do is like walk to the to the bathroom and walk back to the couch because he's barely even walking. So it's not like he's sous chefing anyone. Right. And then and then like with no warning or anything, no pre anything, all of a sudden he's just there. Oh my God. Wow. Sous -chef. Not like Honey, I'm gonna be able to help you, and nothing like that. It was just like, because everything yeah. was out of out of order, you know. And it's then, like, yay, yay, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the one of the first one of the first things that I did was ask ask someone um, who cleans our house if she wants to clean it more. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, it just takes care of itself. Right, right. Delegate. It's called delegating. <laughs> yeah, it's for sure. And it's it's just that when there's no victim and there and and overwhelm is experienced it, it is experienced as that. It's a sim it's a symbol of deceit. Overwhelm is a symbol of deceit. When it's experienced as a symbol of deceit, it doesn't have to be taken seriously. Mm. As if it's speaking to something, as if someone is overwhelmed, as if someone has stuff to do, as you know, it's like, mm. no, it's it's only this moment unfolding. There's only this moment unfolding. That's it. Right. And nothing can go wrong. Frame by frame. Even when it's man down. We we had fun. We were laughing a lot. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's better. So there's no just the complete healing. There's no Well, he's he he still he still hasn't gone to yoga. He hasn't he hasn't he is a, he could feel though. He's real he's real he can really tell what's going on, you know. He's like he can he can feel that that's not that's not it. But we just got a sauna like 2 weeks ago. And that was something that was ordered back in um December and it just got installed. So he's been he's been hitting the sauna every morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then, yep. and, then, and then doing his regular activities other than that, like he works in the yard, he does um, oils all day, cleans, he just, there's no slowing down his regular activities. He's just not showing up in yoga. Yeah. I, have a, I don't mind at all, though. I like, a, I'll go out to a li this little place. I have the Buddha shack. And then, and then there's only one person been there in it, too. Wow. So. <laughs> doing it. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's all, it's all fun. We just see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like, I have a, I have a really good time having yoga with him. And then I also have a really good time having yoga without him. So either one's good for me. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank so, you. Thank you too. Very so, much. Yeah. I appreciate you. Appreciate oh, wisdom dialogue. It's so much fun. You. I appreciate you big time. <laughs> All right. I love you, everyone. Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Hawaii time. If you want the invitation, you can go to Facebook forward slash groups forward slash wisdom dialogues. You can watch all the videos on wisdomdialogues.org. And you're welcome to support our business and also get some amazing essential oils at miraclebotanicals.com. Yay. Yay. I love you. All love right. You Until next time, aloha and hui ho. Ooh. <laughs>